Hey, hope all is well. Praying that everybody day has been blessed so far and will continue to be. That you all has been safe and in good health as always. Amen. Well, I don't have a topic at the moment because I was sitting there in prayer and talking to God. And there are some things that God has said, you know, get up and share that with them. Because this is like the second or third day he had been, you know, talking to me concerning it. And so I, I said, okay, let me get on here and share this word because this is somebody's word. Amen. But before I get into it, allow me to say a quick prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for joy and peace. Thank you, Lord. Lord God for success. Thank you, Lord God, for keeping your right hand upon us. Thank you for encouraging us and you, oh God. But Father God, I ask that you forgive us for shrinking our dreams when the enemy attack our mind, when we feel like we when we don't have what we need, Lord God. That's just a feeling, Lord God. And we know that it's a lie, but Lord God, we thank you for the things that we do have. We thank you for the doors that you have opened for us, Lord God. And Lord God, may we never shrink just because the enemy attack our mind keep us motivated in you keep us walking into your promises oh god in jesus name the bible tells us that we can do all things through christ who strengthens us so lord god as we walk in you we ask that you continue to strengthen us and we know that you don't give the battle to the one that is strong but to the one that will endure so help us endure in this season in jesus mighty name i decree and declare that's done well you all i was sitting there talking to god or whatever and i was just telling him how i done planning so many seeds and so many times I had to stop doing something that I started doing and work on something else and hopefully that'll work out better than the last time that something that I planted last time that seed that I planted last time I hope it work out better than that and I'm just sitting there thinking like I got so many seeds out there and it seemed like nothing was working for me and I said God I'm not asking you for a lot I'm not dreaming that big no more because I don't know if that's necessarily what you have for me so I said okay God am I praying the way you want me to pray am i praying for the things that you want me to pray for is my heart in the right place and so god told me you praying for the exact same thing he placed down in you you wouldn't be praying for those things if he didn't place them in you that would have never came to your mind to be whatever it is that you was trying to do the reason why he had you to plant some seeds leave it alone go plant another seed leave that alone go plant another seed because he conditioning the soil for your seeds amen god said he wants you to uh prosper amen and everything and let me tell you the condition of the soil determines the growth of the seed amen so therefore god was only conditioning you and the seed amen he said prepare for what you pray for you praying for the right things you are on a good road but he need for you to keep dreaming big do not shrink just because you're in need of something right now you feel like you want better and you want a little bit of something you're not being ungrateful and you don't want to be you know trying to overrule god or overstep him so therefore that's why you shrunk a little bit amen you let the devil try to uh win a little bit but he ain't gonna win amen but anyway the lord led me to mark four and this is the par parable about the sower. And it says, I'm, a, I'm in Mark 4. I'm going to start reading in verse 3. And it says, listen, behold, a sower went out to sow. And it happened as he sowed that some seed fell by the wayside. And the birds of the air came and devoured it. Some fell on stony ground where it did not have much earth and immediately sprang up because it had no depths of the earth. But when the sun was up, it was scorched. And because it had no root, it withered away. And it says, and some seed fell on thorns and the thorns grew up and choked it and yielded no crop. But the other seed fell on good ground and yielded a crop that sprang up, increased and produced some 30 fold, some 60 fold and some 100. The reason why it's taking so long for any of your things that you have sown is because God is not going to allow your seeds to fall by the wayside. He said he's not going to allow your seeds to fall on stony ground or on throwing thorns. God said your seed is going to increase and produce some 30 fold, some 60 fold and some 100. But I'm like, God, why 100 don't have a fold on it? And he said, just because he had me to look at that point. And I had to ask myself, well, why it don't have a fold on the guy? And he said, because the wallet is never going to fold again. The bank account is never going to fold. You will never see your bank account in the negative again. Your friends that you're going to gain, the resources that you're going to have is never going to fold again. God said he's been conditioning the soil the entire time. So prepare what you pray for. God said he was only conditioning you. He's conditioning the soil for your seed. The seed is going to increase and produce. Nothing is folding in this next season for you. 
So keep watering your seed. I don't care if it's been five years. You know you still have a heart to do it. It's in you to do. You just don't want to do it because you put in so much time and it seemed like it didn't work. It seemed like it failed. It don't seem like there's no other way around it because you gave it your all. But now uh, give it to God. Amen. Allow God to try. Nothing is too hard for God. All of this belongs to our dad. He is rich, amen. He is wealthy, and you are wealthy just like him, amen. God said, keep planting that seed, keep watering it. Go back and water that seed because you real prosper in it. Dream big again. God needs for you to dream big again, amen. And I know some of us want to see signs, and I know some of us want to see wonders, but he is, this is your sign to start back doing whatever it is that you was doing. If you wanted to cook, you wanted to have a, a cooking business, Start back cooking and start back selling plates again. If you was uh, had a car wash, start back washing cars. I don't care if you got to do it in your front yard. Just start back doing it. Whatever it is that you was doing, you done planted the seed. Look, I'm telling y'all, just start back doing it and God will bless it. He's going to give an increase. He said it's going to produce. Amen. He just didn't want it to fall by the wayside. He wanted you to be blessed so you can bless others. You got a heart to give. And God said that's what he like. And he's conditioning the soil for you. He's conditioning you for whatever you pray for. Whatever you want, wants you. Never forget that. <laughs> and I'm going to tell y'all, like, don't give up on God. There's so many times that we don't have what we need and we just want a little bit of something. But God said, that's not your portion. A little bit is not your portion. A lot is your portion. And you've been living for God. You've been trusting God and believing God for a long time. Now, if God uh, bless a man with a multi-million business in almost every state that only got to know God in his 70s, he's most definitely going to bless you. And you've been serving him and knew God from your youth. Let me tell you, the KFC guy, Colonel, whatever his name is, him, he didn't get to know God till he was 77 years old. He told God if he blessed him in that area, that he'll get to know him and boast about what he have done. And so don't you think, don't you know that God will bless you even the more? Amen. So keep serving God. Don't give up on your dream. Dream big still. Amen. The wallet is not going to fold. The bank account is not going to fold. Some 30, some 64. But that 100. God giving you that hundred. Amen. So I'm going to ask God to, you know, send signs and wonders for his children that's starting to second guess. Is that what he have for them? It's, it's what he have for you. Amen. We all want to see a sign. We all want to see a wonder. But God, the Bible tells us, it's just these signs shall follow those who believe. So keep believing. Amen. Keep dreaming big. In the mighty name of Jesus. I'm trying to allow the Holy Spirit to, you know, Give me all he going to give me. Go on and send down them downloads because I hate to get off this video and he give me something else and then I'm right back up here. Amen. Well, um, y'all, I just pray that the Lord just continue to touch your hearts and mind and know that it is for you that you begin sowing your seeds again and know that it's falling on good ground and know that God is conditioning the soil with, for whatever it is that we're planting. And I want you all to prepare what you are praying for because my phone did get stuck the other night. And I was like, why is my phone stuck? You know, on this, I'm talking about it was froze and it was just saying, prepare what you pray for. It was a black screen and I can see the words. It said, prepare what you pray for. And I said, okay. And so that's probably why you're feeling so much pressure and, you know, you're feeling like alone at times and all that good stuff. But God said, your time is coming. Amen. A hundred. We ain't folding nothing in Jesus name. God bless.